I hate to start off a video like this, just talking, but this might very well be how this one starts. Just pulling in to Keyhole Reservoir, a place I've never ice fished. I want to come every year and I never make it. And uh, it's New Year's Day today. Happy New Year's, everybody. Um, and with that extra day off, I decided I'd give it a shot. My dad was supposed to come. He couldn't make it. We had some bad weather on the other side of the state, which kept him from coming. He didn't have as many days off. My wife was going to come. Same thing. Just kind of battled the roads and got here midday on the 1st, so Saturday, and I've got until Tuesday to fish if I want to. So anyway, I'm here. Just parked. I'm going to go out, get set up. Probably be neighborly. There's some people out here where I want to fish. Uh, but I went to plan B and there's about 10 trucks parked. So <laughs> I guess I'll take the one guy being mad at me. I don't know. I'm, you know, I hate to show up and just be right on top of somebody, which I won't be right on top of them, but you know, even camping in the, or, uh, parking in the same spot feels a little goofy to me, but we're here. We're about to be fishing. Do we think this is enough stuff for one guy? Okay, here we go. I've seen exactly zero fish on the screen. I've got here, I got to uh, to the first break line, first rocky point, and drilled holes, I'm fogging up on this, and drilled about 20 holes out into, from like six feet of water out into the basin. Uh, my plan is to just hit it with about my favorite search lure. Uh, it doesn't have any rattle in it, it's just a PK spoon, golden red. I just have a lot of confidence in it, so I'm gonna drop it down, I'm gonna work these back in shallow. I'm sitting in one of the deep holes now, like I said, still haven't seen anything, which is a little bit concerning, but uh, just gonna fish these for a bit and move and try and find fish. Don't get lost in the fact that it's nice and sunny out and I'm wearing sunglasses. It's cold today. I think when I parked, it was zero, maybe four above. I don't know. So it's cold, moving feels good. I'd love to be in the hut, but I'm, uh, I'm just too impatient of a fisherman to just sit in the hut. So I'm gonna move and try and find them and just try and figure something out on this lake. About my 90th hole I've drilled and I found crappies. Not at all ready. I was sitting here going, holy cow, this is 35 feet because I'm this close to the bank. <laughs> but it is, I'm just off a shelf and that's gotta be, you know, I think crappie. So. Huh, really up there. Hmm, 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 makes you go wonder here. Yeah, okay. All right, think, Trent, think here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Break one day here. Come on. Come on, engage with it, buddy. Only fish can make a guy talk to himself like this. I don't know if something's gonna happen here. Come on. Yes! No! God dang it! Gosh! Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, jeez. I'm just a mess. How's the snot sickles? I got tip upset from well I'm sitting in 35 feet and I've got another one I've got one right by me just thinking maybe when these crappie come through and they don't want this they'll hit that live minnow I don't care I'll catch crappies on tip-ups all day um then I've got them slowly moving in I've got one at like it's hard to say it's so steep here probably like 18 foot and then another in it like it's legitimately like four feet but it's got to just come off that shelf and I thought about moving it but I thought big old walleye or park pike swims in there and I mean, they do weirder stuff than eat bait in four feet of water. They do it all the time. So not a huge confident uh, set right there, but could definitely happen. Well, good morning from day two on Keyhole Reservoir. Um, the fact that, why is this so crooked? Yesterday I uh, moved around, drilled a lot of holes, charted a few fish that didn't want to bite. I uh, talked to some guys afterwards and it was the same story for them. So, could have just been one of those days. It was really super cold yesterday. 
think it was like they had like negative 14 or negative 17 in the morning so you know hopefully it just shut the bite down and i'm not necessarily doing something wrong um but this morning a little bit more of the same uh, i've charted a few fish they, they seem pretty lethargic not a lot of crappie i think most of them are perch coming up off the bottom and i've got bit one time so Be on this. Just to videotape you, Trent? No, no. You got to, you got to represent the man. You know, yeah. Well, you're in it now. Eagle. We got, we got to do our best to make it look like we're uh, in fish. You no, know, actually, just show them that part where nobody caught anything. Yeah. Well, they'll see plenty of that. They got see the the budget's so low on this show that you got to get past the boring part, get to the good hey, stuff. I subscribed to you. I'm okay. I'm watching you, man. I love, I love the Lakers videos. Well, yeah. Because that's something that we don't get a lot of fish a lot of. Those just, you know, those usually aren't a one-day thing. Here comes one. There you go. Feels good to catch a fish. Oh, boy. I'm at 23 feet. What are you guys at? My hole's 20. at 23, and I'm fishing anywhere from 15 to 20. I think Trent's in butt's in. Yeah, I, I really honestly don't know where the bottom is. Right. Char so I can't get my bait down right now and they it's come. It's like that, the damn one. There we go. Oh yeah, there's a lot of crappie. <laughs> yeah. Here yeah. comes one yeah. screaming up. Is he going to do it? Oh, there's one right there. See him swimming right there? Oh yeah. I there's a whole bunch, a whole bunch of them. Of them. Nice. Uh, I think I got to go to the bottom. There's a drum. There's, there's, yeah, drum. Six. Not bad drum. That's why those fish aren't biting. They're, they're drums. Some of them are drum. Huh. So I'm looking right at your, your area. Oh, you. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Why haven't you eaten it? He did. He did eat it. Oh, it's good, nice clean, one. fun. Yeah. I'm liking that spoon. Are they all, uh, are they all black crappie in here? They no, there's some whites white? in here. They're... Usually when you get one of the whites, they're... Quite a bit bigger. bigger? Yeah, yeah they remember that from you know they're they, go, they have a different head on them and and, then, and they're mixed in. I mean they'll be mixed in. Right. Usually, just the whites are just usually bigger fish. Just comes one all the way from the bottom. Huh? Coming hard. Surely you're gonna do it, ain't you? Surely you're gonna do it. Yeah, you did. Well, that one feels good. They're kind of a little more up up higher. Oh, that's another good one. What do you mean up higher? Damn! Like the, the, when the camera's up two more feet, so I'm up a little higher up on that lip. Right. lip you're it. So I'm not marking on anything here. Uh, no. You don't need to. Oh, this is better. Good crappie. Here's my pile I'm making finally making a pile. I'm glad these guys showed up to show me the light here. Best yet, we got eyeballs. Yeah, that's the best bait. Here comes one, here comes one, here comes two. That's how I've been reeling the whole time. I know, I watched. It always blows my mind how they can peel like that. They can what? Peel off. How do you fire off the bottom and then... Oh, I think they just see something they don't like at the last second. Here he comes. There's definitely no walleye underneath it, but we had drum and crappie so far I can, that I can at least see. Here comes one hard. Mm, so hard he up bit it. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Oh, your buddy will. Yep. Thanks, buddy. Boy, I was cussing keyhole the last few hours, but you know, it's not a bad place. Fish are disappearing. Anybody else is disappearing, or are they just kind of moving in and out here? I got a bunch in mine. Okay. Well, I got them back. I got them called back here. We need a disposal hole. <laughs> Gotta throw them right back in. I got there. so much on my graph, I can't even see my There's one. one. There we Looking go. right at the camera. Here we go. Come on. You're right. I don't remember who was saying that it's always some from the middle. Those top ones don't ever do it, but then one shoots up from the, the 
the middle of the pack. See any pike down there? No, I just all, all I saw was drum and crappie. Maybe it's because my eyeball is a little drab here. Nope. That's, I think that's the smallest one I've got. How small is too small? Does that exist? What's sorry? To fillet? How small? Oh, uh, you can fillet them down to. The, the, they just get thinner. Nine? Nine incher? Yeah. That's, well. I usually have to say nine, ten. Okay. But, you know, if I have my bride with me, she keeps them all. You want an eyeball? I don't need one at the moment, but. Yeah, you, you don't want to keep them. Throw them on this pile. Completely up to you. That's real nice. Oh, yeah. I think you're in frame, but I'm really not sure. Yes. Boy, starting to wonder. Beauty. Oh, yeah. See, just like that, it's all worth it. Oh, that was a... That was a nice flurry, anyway. You just gotta wonder what goes through their heads to have them sit there and sit there and sit there and then all of a sudden just... It's a hook. Scream up and smoke it, yeah. It's a hook what goes through their head, Trent. <laughs> hey, well, that's true. <laughs> I thought that was the whole point. Yeah, it is the point. And so, so when these fish disappear, if they if they disappear, uh -huh. they don't go roam the basin like I would expect I, I don't, in my head. I don't think that... They just stick on I these. think they just kind of cruise up and down the shoreline. I mean, I'm... I, Obviously, I've not drilled all the way across the middle. We've, we've drilled across the middle looking for the perch. Yeah. Because there's some big herds of perch in here, uh -huh. you know, like boys and used to be. And uh, they're big. Um, and you would think you would run into the crappies, but you don't. Huh. They're, they're I mean, they're, obviously they're a suspended fish, but for whatever reason in the wintertime, they want up against something, you know. Yeah. A rock or trying to think my way through it yesterday I kept thinking okay well they're not here so maybe they're you know out in the basin out in the right. basin out in the basin so I I'd think go you just, I my, never my, my brain says just hug these rocks and that well I think your brain's right I just figured somewhere in here there's you know and, and I think they just cruise up and down the side of this and then if they disappear then I think they might have gone out to the middle but I've never been able to contact them out in the middle and just stay on them yeah, when I finally found them yesterday evening, it was, you know, it was, it was kind of a carbon copy to this, I guess. Right. Right against that shell. Right against the rock. So even pick that up, but... Oh, yeah, the chase. My goodness. You even know where your Mine's right at? there. Oh, I see it. Right there. 12, I was trying to 13. keep from going past that one. I can't tell if it's fish, but... I don't know why it wouldn't be a fish. <laughs> Nice. See, that's just that's just high quality television right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, that's that, like this is how it's supposed to work. You just grab them <laughs> and and then uh, catch them. <laughs> Surely you're gonna bite it, aren't you? Yep. That one did it right. Borderline. Nine incher. Whoops. Now I'm getting greedy. Like a mean fish chowder. Oh man. Good stuff, huh? I need to branch out a little more, but I get these suckers and I can't just, all I think about is frying them up. I found a fish chowder on uh, iShanty, uh -huh. on the recipes page. I think it's called Knudsen's fish chowder. Ooh, we got a race going on. I can't hear you. We got a race. I'm listening though. Oh, um, I got one too. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's called Tanuki. The only thing I, the only modification I've made to it is I put uh, green peppers in it. Uh -huh. And my wife doesn't like green peppers, so I don't put them in there. I think it's way better. Yeah, while you were talking, that's the first time all day I've had two racing for it. Yeah. Just weird fish. That's all there is to say about them. They were all but lethargic on my screen. It felt like it, and then now they're racing for it. Yeah, they just turned on for a little bit. 
at our new school just kind of coming through. It's that two stroke over there. Yeah. Got them worked out. Yeah. Did something. We've done that before with walleyes, get them in an area. We just swear by that, just rainbow fishing. Every time somebody crank an auger up, start drilling, yeah. somebody catch one. Just get them a little, they get curious. Curious or bumps them off there. Their hole they were sitting on. Yeah, it's like, oh wow, food. Yeah, oh, I'm awake. No, we got one screaming here. Way down there. Oh, that's just good, clean fun there. <laughs> good one, too. Just waiting for him to thunk it, you know? Right. me it's almost the opposite of a bike because it just gets lighter yeah <laughs> yeah your rod tip goes up and yeah. goes down and, yeah they're pretty cool get on some walleyes that's how they'll hit too that they're a little harder hitting they'll thunk. oh man i've seen them scream off the bottom eight feet and yeah. slam them jigs Oh, I fished uh, with my buddy last year in North Dakota. Boy, it was just nice to fish walleye all day and just right. have them do it right, you know. Isn't that fun? More times than not. How's that bait fishing, Jed? <laughs> Good. Good. Come up and look at me. Not yet bite. It looks like fun. That was good going, Scott. You herded them back. That's what I do. Yeah. Most people like fishing with me because they never have to drill a hole. I, that's usually the same way with me, but even I've used your holes, so. Yeah, you'll even quit bringing an auger. <laughs> like these guys, there's two of them. <laughs> Hey, you screamed off the bottom. Are you gonna eat it? No, nope, you're not. Ooh, your buddy might though. <laughs> buddy did it. Boy, that was a light bite. Ooh. No, I think I've said that's a good one every time. I don't know if it is or. Uh, Plan trip to the Columbia this spring. Understand a word you said. For what? Walleye. Give me a. I want a 15, 17 pounder. Oh, and now it's 17 pounds. Before it was 12. Well, 15. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I, these fish, they, they just don't have a chance anymore. They can't hide from you. Well, you they can choose to, to not bite, bite but <laughs> they can't hide from you. And these fish are charged I mean, up all of a sudden. Not that it's hard to figure out what color they Holy want today. Crap. Oh, well, that'll work. You could live if you, you know, you ain't going to figure it out, are you? Eat it. These are flat out. Char I can't even get my bait down right now, and they come and fire off the bottom. Well, this sounds bad, especially after the day I had yesterday. But I really had to kind of see if they can get on there. Take a break from fishing <laughs> all morning, and then all into the middle of the day, I've either just been either catching fish or trying to coax them up. Um, didn't even realize I hadn't drank any water. Hadn't had anything to eat, so stopping, having a peak refuel, which is great ice fishing food, warm you up a little bit, even though it's not cold today. And then uh, I'll keep fishing for them here in a little bit, but everybody's having a pretty good day out here. Fun times, really salvaged the trip. Thankful these guys able to just kind of put me under their wing and show me around and show me some good spots. So saved the trip for sure. But uh, next time I see you guys, I'll probably have camp set up out here, I'd assume maybe catch some more fish before that but 
it's already like getting close to three o'clock I think so about time to start figuring out what I'm gonna do tonight well we've got camp all but set up it's just good crappie fishing right here just how you want it to be it's your lucky day buddy my hands are bleeding from flaying fish first time I've ever fished in slippers 